We are sifting through quite some dirt here. Look what just dropped out. Sorry, I'm shaking a little bit because I've never found a complete one of this before. Let me just show you. That bird is very recognizable still. Me and Mike just arrived at the uh, Weermacht Barrack Dam site where we've been quite a couple of times and Mike made some sort of a sift. This is one part of it and the other part is right here. So we're gonna try that out. We're gonna sift through some sand. We just made a small uh, test pit here and there's porcelain and glass everywhere. So we're gonna set up the, uh, the sift. Let's see if we're gonna find some World War II history. Today's video is brought to you by Mac Arena. Mac Arena is a 5 on 5 mech shooter that's casual, fun and great to look at. The maps and mechs are really neat and varied and everything runs smoothly on almost any device. I like it because I can literally invite anyone to come play with me. I've been playing Mac Arena a lot lately and these are some of my favorite mechs. Meet Panther. He's the best mech there is for shaping the battlefield. Panther can lock down an enemy attack or create a perfect sniper's nest. Also, let me tell you about Kill Shot. This guy is the fastest mech in the game and he's just so strong he has this ability melee dash that just smashes people macarena has got a ton happening this month there's a brand new pilot maverick they've overhauled the amazing paradise plaza map and there's many special events like brazilian carnival event and a st patrick's day where you can win exclusive skins a new pilot and much more it's completely free to play on android and ios right now use my personal link or scan my qr code to get a one mil spec skin 500 a coins and 7000 credits to help kickstart your game and if you're quick you can add me to friends and we can play some matches together so don't wait around some finds already came out and uh, yeah Mike just pulled out this Opecta bottle and Opecta was a really uh, famous brand back in the day it was actually the father of uh, Anne Frank that had a let's say a fruit juice company in Amsterdam he had a factory there and these bottles are really uh, really popular actually among collectors I just noticed something red right there. I still have to freaking see if this, but I noticed a red piece here. And from my experience at other military dumps, I know that this is a WHW badge, Winterhiel's Werk. And the Hitlerjugend went door to door to sell these. It was basically a charity token. It's a hat, a very girly hat because it has a little flower underneath here. And I think that's Edelweiss, but we need Edelweiss. to check that. The, yeah. the German mountain troops had that on their cap, right? Yeah, that's memory. right. And and it's it's a little flower that grows very high in the mountains in uh, in southern Germany and in Austria. I'm just scooping some sand around here to see if there are some relics there. And you're never gonna believe this. I'm basically just scooping this to the side, and I spot something white here. And look at that. There's a freaking name on it. It's a name tag. Oh wow, it's a last name and a first name, Mike. Really? Complete name. Complete name, Reisner Otto. That is really, really personal, guys. A really great find, really happy with that one. Next interesting item to pop up is this piece of uh, cloth here. Look at that. What do you think that is? I can give you a small hint. We think it's uh, from a German uniform, indicating the, the rank, I believe. This piece is actually a German officer's color tab. So that will probably clean up nice. Again, something that you will never find with a metal detector. So very special to hold this type of relic in my hands. Let's see if there's something here. Hear that? Let's start digging. Well, we already had it for quite some hours and we haven't really found any eagles today until now. I was working here and this porcelain piece just dropped out. And this is the kind of stuff that we want to find. You can already see something there. Let me just get that out. Let us see. It's a complete German eagle. It's even marked with the year still, guys. Look at that, 1940 Bavaria. Let 
Me and Mike are still scooping away all of the sand here and we just had a really big moment because Mike just pointed out that uh, some of the dirt that we just threw in resulted in that beauty over there. I think it was laying somewhat like like this. Yeah, it was on the side, yeah. <laughs> on the side like that. Between some dirt. So yeah, I mean that definitely strikes out. And yeah, look at that, it's a very nice decorative silver ring. There's some sort of gem in it. And I think there is also there a silver code in there, marking the code. The that, that's a silver code. No, yeah, no. yeah. Wow, wow, that is a beauty. A minute ago I was ready to throw in more sand in this sifter. And Mike said, wait a minute, because he just found that silver ring. And actually that second scoop contained a pocket knife. Uh, with a wooden grip, I believe. There's some remains of that still left. Usually it's all rotten away, but still in a nice condition. I think almost every soldier carried one of those pocket knives, so... Is there something there? Ah, it's a German belt hook. Look at that. Aluminum version. It's a nice find. Oh, and there's, <laughs> there's even more. This is a smoking filter. I think we found already like 10 or something at this spot. So... That piece of dirt there where my shovel is, that's fruitful, guys. So, the day is almost over. You can already see a lot of finds there. So me and Mike are desperately trying to get some of that sand still in the, in the sifter and see, you know, if you can find some last minute great finds. You never know, right? I was just going through this with my hands a bit and all of a sudden I see something shiny and me and Mike had a talk in the car, what was like my number one find, you know. And I told him it's an RAD pin, a cap, a cap badge for the Rijksarbeidsdienst. I've seen them being found a lot, but I never found it myself. And I think that's gonna change right now. Look at that. See that red and silver color? Let me just get that out. So yeah, the moment is finally there. We found it, it's an RAD cap emblem. And now we can only hope that it's in a nice condition. Should be a swastika on there as well. I don't know. I, I can I cannot wait anymore. Mike, please <laughs> help me with I'll, this brush. I'll, I'll see what I can do for you. Oh, yeah, I think you're doing a good is. job. Yeah. And the back side? Yeah. Is the pin still there? I think. Yeah, the pin yeah. is still there. Yeah, the, both pins are still there. Jeez. Are there two pins? Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's marked right there. Let's see if I can focus that. Yeah, you can see some writing there, right next to the pins. Yeah, that's right. I'll clean this further at home, guys, and uh, give you a better close-up. Let me just show the front again. And I can obviously also show you the clean-up version. Really happy with this one. Yeah. So we were really, this time, busy with the last scoop of sand after that RED pin came out of that edge. But we're not done yet. Look at that airplane, WHW badge. And Mike found one in the past as well here. And I'm not sure if this is exactly no, the I same think type. it's a different one now yeah, look at it. Yeah, different plane, yeah. yeah. Fighter plane, German fighter plane. It's also the crosses there on the wings. It's a very pretty one. Yeah, here's, here's some of the, the goodies, you know, like the badges and the, the, the shoulder boards that we found and just pocket knife comms, just you name it. There's so much, so much to look at here. So we're gonna sort through that and uh, see what the final score is. Make some photos and uh, oh yeah, before I forget, there's also many bottles that we found here. Oh, we also found this beer mark. It's not complete. Yeah, and the Opecta bottle. Oh cool yeah, one. the Opecta bottle. Indeed, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Great stuff. So, a couple weeks further, we're gonna get that set up and uh, continue our work over here. So I'm again with the Iron Mike Metal Detecting, you can see him over there. Also Ray from the Dutch Relic Diggers. Let's get the sifter going and see if he can find some medals, personal items, World War II gems. Big piece of porcelain there. Not sure if it's whole or not, but I don't think we found any complete plate here, so that will be a First, ah, oh, no, I don't think it's complete, but... Oh, look at that, guys. There we go. The eagle is not complete, but there is a swastika there. 
right that's a here you can see a very consolidated layer there's just many finds all together here and i already found a lot of interesting porcelain and comb now it's just a matter of waiting and seeing until perhaps some metal falls out hey what, what's that um guys <laughs> I'm not kidding you, I was just talking about metals. Well, this is not a metal, but this... This is a part of an officer's cap emblem, man. Look at this, it's the middle part. It's, the, it's from the cockade. I can show you an image of that right now. So look at that, this is a part of that. And that is a very cool find. All right. We're right back at it after that cockade. Let's see if there is more here. I do hear a lot of metallic and glass sounds, you know? Okay, so I'm not saying that this sieve is not working. But what I am saying is that I just keep finding stuff in my eye. I don't even need that thing. Um, so we just found the cockade there with that calm and the Nazi porcelain. And I was just digging this wall over here. Look what just dropped out. Do you see that? That aluminum color? <laughs> Sorry, I'm shaking a little bit because I've never found a complete one of this before. Let me just show you. Come on, we need to give this a brush. Let's see. I think this is the moment. Wow, pristine. Ooh, pins are still there. That bird is very recognizable still. Happy with that one. All right, so we are sifting through quite some dirt here. More and more finds keep popping up, but still I am finding stuff with my eye. Well, some are bigger objects, some are smaller, so you gotta keep your eyes peeled. But I just pulled this leather object out. And I think that this is a glove actually. Hey, look at that, there's still a, uh, a button there. Maybe it's an officer's glove. It's definitely military used and lost. Yeah. Can't get enough of us? Become a patron and get access to exclusive content. Bonus scenes from this episode are now available on Patreon. I was taking it before, Rages took over my shift, and I was basically just standing at the sieve and just literally the first pile of sand that was thrown in, I spotted something yellow and well, we brushed it up already. So let me show you, it's WHW time again, Winterhiel's back. Look at this pretty badge. I think it says Hulchin, and there were like thousands of different WHW badges, but this particular type shows the coat of arms of a city. And I think there were about maybe like 10 or 15 of these, uh, but this one I've never seen. And there's even a year on there, it seems, 1569. I think I'm gonna be standing at the SIF for a while now. I know they say never change the winning team, but it seems that I am again on a winning team, so. <laughs> so we were actually on our lunch break and then all of a sudden we had a small victory moment because well, we're digging at this edge here and we were just scraping away the, the top soil layer here. And Mike all of a sudden points out an eye find and we already brushed it up, had a small party here. Look at this WHW badge. Yeah, I don't know what it is with these Germans. I mean, count the swastikas. It should be riding on there. No, I'm not entirely able to read it, but maybe it says something about vehicles. Fahrkraft, I, I, I'm not sure. But that is a really pretty WHW badge, so... Congratulations to Mike on that one. Thank you. We have another personal item, guys. Look at that. It's a name tag from a soldier. It says Heinz. Well, that's quite an iconic name. I think you can all agree with that. Let's see if the last name is also readable. Let me, let me just get my close-up camera. Yeah, there we go. Heinz Bunt. Heinz gets a flammenwerfer. Hans. <laughs> oh, what is for Hans? Well, that is a really personal, uh, personal item. Actually, even on the dog tags that these German soldiers carried, there wasn't even a full name on there. So this, this is really remarkable to find. Really unique. All right, so we moved the sieve some 20 meters, and Mike and Ray were working over there, taking a well-deserved break. And I was doing some testing of this soil right here. Some small bottles and stuff came out, but. I think I just discovered something really interesting. You see that red thing over there? Well, I already spotted some writing on that from a distance. So let's discover together exactly what this is. Look, look at all of that writing. Well, okay, so there's some plastic wrapped around a piece of paper. That's obviously what saved this piece of paper. Wait a minute, is there an actual eagle on there? Maybe this is some sort of I don't know, like an Auswise, some documents, papers to, to get your holiday pass, you know, to return home for a couple of days. I think this can be something really special. Ready? Yeah, just take it easy. Oh. The eagle is there, right? Yeah. 
be really careful with it. There's some tears there in the, in the plastic. Oh, but that writing is clear as day, man. It must be some sort of pass, some document, some security clearance. You can see the eagle here with the circle. This has been stamped. Wait a minute. Yes, I think my idea is right. It says Urlaubskarte. So it says holiday pass number 174. Does it say a little bit more about the soldier himself? I think it does say something about the regiment the soldier was in. It says something about the time there. It says uh, four hours. Wow, we have to clean this further and see how we can preserve this. This is an amazing piece of history. Really happy with that one. I've never found anything like that before. Ray and Mike came to help out sifting the sand from the excavation where I just found that holiday pass. And the first interesting thing to pop up is a WHW badge. It's that time again. And I know it's, it's only half, but there's some markings on there and quite a lot of swastikas actually. So yeah, another one, they just keep coming up. So God bless the sifter and God bless Mike's engineering skills. Yeah. He, he wanted me to say that, so. <laughs> I'll do it right now. Go and check out his channel, by the way, if you haven't already. I'll provide a link below. It's much more fun at my channel. I'll probably cut it out right here. <laughs> Apparently, that's still a hotspot right there, because Ray just discovered another flag. So now, the only thing we need to do is clean it up. But I think the condition is very, very well still. It's actually very similar to the one that Mike found a couple minutes back. But this has a different color. This one is black, yours yeah. was uh, red? Red, yeah. Red, red, yeah. Paint on it. So yeah, again another WHW badge. We're beat and uh, it's time to close up those holes. Gonna pack our bags and uh, move to the car. It has been a really great day. I want to thank you all for watching. My patrons in particular, thank you for the support. If you want to become a patron, go for it. There is a link in the video description. You can get access to exclusive content. See you next time. Take care.